You know, when sometimes you're not getting a good signal on your mobile phone and you say things like, I have poor network coverage, or my coverage is really bad, or sometimes, uh, of course, you describe your network coverage in words that I cannot use on this video. But the point is that sometimes you don't get a good mobile phone signal. This signal is not a straightforward thing. It's not like uh, you can either get a good one or a bad one. Your mobile phone connects to the network using radio waves or signals. So basically, it is radio waves traveling at very specific frequencies. It's not like baby monitors or walkie-talkies where you just buy something from Amazon for 20 bucks and the devices are just talking to each other without any problems. The mobile phones work in a very different way. So for example, it's not like if I wanted to talk to my friend on the phone, my phone would establish a connection between my phone and my friend's phone or anything. Instead, my phone would establish a connection with any nearby cell tower to connect me or my phone to the network. And then the network would find my friend's phone and then establish a connection with that phone. In this example, my phone would connect to the cell tower based on the frequencies dictated by that particular cell tower. And my friend's phone would connect to the cell tower using the frequencies dictated by the relevant cell tower over there, where my friend is. These frequencies are very expensive frequencies. These are licensed frequencies that mobile operators have to purchase from the regulatory authorities in your country. The frequencies used by mobile phones are part of a large frequency spectrum operational in a certain country. In the UK, for example, the authority that mobile operators purchase the frequencies from is called Ofcom. So with that in mind, let's have a look at the definition of a frequency spectrum. A frequency spectrum in mobile communications is the range of radio frequencies allocated to each mobile network operator in their country of operation for transmitting and receiving their RF signals or radio signals. An MNO or mobile network operator can add more cells with more spectrum to improve network capacity and coverage. Now, if you look at this picture on the left side, you have these rectangular looking things. These are antennas of the radio units that are placed in a cabinet at the bottom of a cell tower. The frequencies are assigned to those radio units. And then these antennas are responsible for transmitting and receiving radio signals at those frequencies. That's why these base stations are also called base transceiver stations because they can transmit as well as receive. So transmit and receive, which becomes transceive. See how cool is that? Of course, I'm kidding, it's pretty dry, but, uh, but let's move on. A frequency spectrum defines the frequency bands in a particular range allocated to each mobile operator in a country to offer cellular services to their customers. The frequency bands require the mobile network operator, MNO, to get a license from local regulatory authorities. A mobile operator can use a range of frequencies for various technologies. For example, they may decide to use certain frequencies just for 5G or 4G or 3G or whichever network technology they want to operate. As an example, when 5G was launched in the UK, they decided to use the 3.4 to 3.8 GHz frequency band for 5G. In real life, that means that each mobile operator in the UK, for example, Vodafone, EE, O2, and 3, would have needed to purchase portions of this frequency band from the regulatory authority, Ofcom, for launching 5G services. Another example is two GGSM networks that use lower frequencies. In Europe, GSM networks can use a frequency band from 890 MHz to 960 MHz, but other GSM compatible frequency bands are also possible. 3G UMTS networks can use 1920 MHz to 2170 MHz in Europe, but other frequency bands, including 850 MHz, 900 MHz, and 1700 MHz, are also possible. 
Thanks for watching the video guys, I've written a detailed post on this topic and the link is in the description. And make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.